All right, so this is the Lipin Ninja Go Temple of Ejutsu 06022. This is an obvious knockoff of the Lego 70751. And this is my review of this set. It looks very impressive, as you may know with Lipin kits. From the stickers to how the blocks, the pieces fit, click in, they're really good. Probably only the minifigures need help. Working on, I can explain why that is missing. It's not attached. Alright, let's see the temple. I'm really loving this build. This was a really fun build. Very unique. Take off the top. Turn it around and you can see Cole's secret stash here. There's a camera and there is a hairbrush in there. Mm, come on. Okay, so we remove, that's how it's fixed, remove this so I can have a look in the inside, and that's a study room, and the next one is the dojo, or the practice, I'm gonna stick that in properly. Of that one, As you can see the details really good. This thing is a lounge room. Really loving these sliding doors. And even the light brick works in the Lipin kit models. Let's have a look inside how it works. enough of that really really good set so if you missed out on the original and still want to get it get your hands on this slipping kit this is the blacksmith house it's two levels missing parts to attach the trees remove this chimney to open access to the inside and this is the blacksmith furnace anvil stickers on the door really nice that's the banner there. The farmer's market is equally a fun build. A lot of details on the floor. Treasure chest hidden in here. As you can see there. And the second part, there's a hook here. The flags don't really stick to this um is um spear thingies you can see that one you see there and the only thing i need to point out here is the fountain that sits there it's a bit different from the lego model i'll quickly explain all right okay, so, so this is a printout of the lego manual and we have a look at the lepin <laughs> Interesting how they can print their own instructions. And that's the fountain there. It doesn't really work well, this design that they've made themselves. So I can say it's not really a knockoff because they've actually reinvented the fountain. Okay, let's have a look at the minifigures. As you can see, the eyebrows in the Lepin ones are covered by the mask. And uh, Legos one, you can see the face. Uh, I really don't like how they printed the face. Let's see, it just looks. I don't know. I just don't like it. Looks. Oh, come on, yeah, that's it. It's all right. Pretty decent printing on the body is also pretty good. I'm really liking Wu. His print was really, really, really nice. It's Kai J. And these are the new um, new characters in this set. The postman. This these five pieces are a bit. They don't really match with the figures, like the hair. And look at the skin on the chest. It's green. Um, his scarf is different. Hair is different. Hair is different for Misako. Hair is different for Darif. And that is it for my review of the Lepin 